Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. Andy Murray, one of the funniest and most candid tennis stars. Just check out his new interview with Pride Life magazine. In the cover story titled Grand Slam Hunk, Murray covers a wide range of topics including his new clothing line, tennis equality, the Margaret Court controversy, and gay crushes. <laughs> Andy, of course, has been happily married now for five years. He and his wife, Kim Sears, have three children, all under the age of five, by the way. Andy is a big supporter of social equality. His original coach was his mom, Judy Murray. He worked with Amelie Moresmo, making him one of the few top male pros to ever work with a female coach. And Andy says the fact that some of tennis's greatest all-time champions, including Martina Navratilova, Billie Jean King, are gay is one reason women's tennis has been more inclusive. And he says men's tennis has a long way to go in that regard because on the men's side, no elite player has publicly come out. The day after Tennis Australia recognized the 50th anniversary of Margaret Court's 1970 Grand Slam back in January, Martina Navratilova and John McEnroe staged an on-court protest, advocating that they rename Margaret Court Arena in honor of fellow Aussie legend Yvonne Goolagong. Martina, Mac, and Billie Jean King have all publicly advocated the name change in light of Court's opposition to same-sex marriage and what they view as bigoted views. 78-year-old Court, a devout Christian Pentecostal minister in Perth, Australia, who has said critics are bullying her and trying to diminish her legacy over her strong religious views. Well, Pride Life asked Murray where he stands on renaming Margaret Court Arena, and Andy said he would support a name change because he doesn't believe that Margaret Court's views represent the Australian Open's values. So, Pride Life asked Andy why we haven't seen any elite male players come out yet. Andy says it's simple. Several players have come out, just not while they're competing, and he thinks that because there is still a stigma surrounding it, most men are keeping that issue private. And then the interview gets a little funny, with Andy admitting to his man crush on his doubles partner Feliciano Lopez, who Andy's mom calls Deliciano, which of course we totally get. Apparently they share the same crush. And then the magazine asks Andy the burning question it says all gay tennis fans want to know, and that is this. If Andy were gay, which member of the big three would he snog, marry, and avoid? A diplomatic Murray told the magazine he would marry Roger and then he would snog the other two. Gotta laugh at that. It's a fun interview and you can check out the whole thing on pridelife.com. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.